Ah, fresh air. Okay. Somebody crab and somebody my crab. Welcome to the Boxing King. And yes, I saw that someone commented on the last video asking me, why do I speak Thai? Am I Thai? Well, to answer that technically, I'm partial Thai because I have Thai blood flow in my blood through my grandparents. So yeah, I hope that clears up your mind. And if you have any more questions, do comment below and I'll keep a look out for you guys. So now back to the highlight. Today, yes, I have the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip on my hand. So the foldable phone has been said to be the future and can replace the traditional slap glass phone. So can it really do that? Let's flip it out. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the packaging of the Galaxy Z Flip. Well, the packaging definitely looks premium with a letter Z on the outer sleeve and printed flip on the surface of the box. So now opening up, you have the menu separated in the box and not to mention it comes with a special silicone bag casing for the Z Flip. Continue on, the phone, it has a SIM pin too, USB-C, AKG earphones, USB-C cable, a 15 watt fast charger and adapter to transfer your files. Okay, to start, I'll talk about the design for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip first. So this time definitely the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip is much more compact and lighter compared to the previous Samsung Galaxy Fold. When I mean compact, it means it really does fit in your pocket with ease compared to the bulkier Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra that pokes up from your pocket, especially for jeans. It may seem small and compact when it's folded, but when you flip it out, you still get the 6.67 inch Full HD Plus 22 by 9 Infinity Flex O display, which I felt it's large and tall enough to enjoy your daily content. So speaking about the display, this time the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip uses a glass screen instead of a plastic so that it gives a more solid and scratch resistant touch to it. As for the folding mechanism, this time the Samsung Z Flip uses a nylon fiber in the sliding mechanism so that it gives a more solid experience to it and you can't really use one hand to flip it open. And something cool to talk about this time, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip can be folded into any angle which Samsung calls it the free hole and this can act as your tripod while you're on selfies and also video call and you can multitask by splitting your apps into both sides of the screen. So done looking on the display, let's flip it back in and here you have the small notification bar and also the dual camera setup which I felt is pretty cool because you can see the time and the date and the notification on your bar and also you can use this one inch screen to act as your viewfinder for your selfies and it may look weird on the viewfinder for your selfies but when you flip it open the pictures are still normal sized pictures so now coming into the tech spec the samsung galaxy z flip comes with the snapdragon 855 plus chipset and also 8 gig ram 256 gig of storage space a 3300 milliamp battery capacity that supports with the 15 watt fast charging and also wireless charging as for the camera wise it has a dual camera setup which is a 12 megapixel main camera and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and the front is a 10 megapixel selfie camera as for the camera feature it doesn't come with the 100 times screen zoom like the samsung galaxy s20 ultra but it gives you up to eight times of digital zoom and also it comes with the latest single take feature which is my favorite you can just press it and it will capture multiple photos and even boomerang within the 10 second shot. Video wise, it can take up to 4K 60 frames per second video recording. With all that said, I still feel there's some parts that the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip should have, such as the expandable memory card slot and also 5G support. I know 5G is not that popular now, but this is a 2024. It should prepare the 5G network capabilities for the coming years. And the other thing that I don't like about is the speaker built in the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. It is a mono speaker which it can be found on the mid-range phones. And the last thing is still the crease that found on the center of the screen. 
it may be less obvious but when you touch it you still feel the crease and it will make you avoid touching it and make the touch experience a little bit off at last the samsung galaxy z flip may not have the latest tech spec and also features like the samsung galaxy s20 ultra but it is still a fashionable and unique phone to own so are you the fashionable techie that wants to own this samsung galaxy z flip let us know in the comments below and as always do subscribe to our youtube channel and like our video hit the bell icon for the latest video update i'm joshua see you next time